What's going on viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 here with a new Let's Play. This is Feedy Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. This is, as you might have guessed, the sequel to the first Feedy Frenzy. And I'm going to warn you now, this game is so much harder. Holy crap, I played through this game one time before and it gets brutal. So just because it's a casual game does not mean that it can't be difficult. So uh, there are a few ways you can play, there's story mode, there's story light, which I don't know what's different about this one, but I don't feel like finding out here. And you can also play Time Attack, which is a game where I think you have infinite lives in this one, like the first Feedy Frenzy, but you have a time limit to beat the whole game. I'm going to go to story mode, I... I'm going to hit resume, I'm sorry, did... actually no, this is perfect. It put me right at the first level, uh, Sandy Shoal. So, we actually have a different cast of characters to play with this time around. This is Boris the Butterfly Fish. So, it's just like the first Feedy Frenzy where you use the left stick or the D-pad to move your fish. You're supposed to eat fish that are smaller than you and avoid anything larger than you. Eat enough fish and you'll grow bigger. You can dash by... it's the A button. Yep, I'm playing this on the Xbox One. This is the Xbox 360 version. There is a PS3 version that at the time I'm recording this is still available, but I'm not sure how much longer that'll be true for. Now, you might have noticed immediately, this is actually one reason why the game is harder. You notice that the screen is scrolling to the left and to the right. In the first Feedy Frenzy, the screen only ever scrolled up and down. This is actually one reason that this game is so much harder than, this, than the first. So we already grew one size, but... Of course, the beginning is going to be pretty easy, you know, it eases you into the game. Just trust me, this game gets a lot harder. And yes, you can get a combo going by eating fish just like uh, what I'm doing right now, but there's more. If you eat enough fish, you can actually get up to a times 6 multiplier. Super frenzy. See, when the letters are all the way red, mega you get a mega frenzy and that's a times 6. Tells you if they're at the top right as well. If you clear a stage without losing a life, a mermaid will scroll. Uh, a mermaid will move across the screen, and she will draw starfish bubbles. These don't help you grow, but they'll give you a high score if you're going for a score attack. And look, we got fun facts in this game as well. The simple-looking brain coral extends hundreds of stinging tentacles at night to catch small prey. All right, succulent starfish. Yes, this is the stage where the starfish bubbles are introduced proper. And, yep, just like I said before, you can tap A to dash. The dash command is great for getting out of a sticky situation quickly, but take care not to dash into, right into a predator, okay? <clears throat> wow, I don't know what that was. I got mucus in my throat. <laughs> ah, so, yes. As I was saying before, the screen scrolls left and right in addition to up and down, all directions. So, you're literally going to have predators that are off screen and you're probably going to unwillingly run right into. You do get 5 lives to start and there are some opportunities to get extra lives. But this first stage, this first world, like I said, is here to introduce you to the controls and the gameplay. So the one-ups are not going to come right now. Just bear with me. This game will get interesting. It'll get very interesting. Especially since there's a story this time around. We won't be seeing that story until a little bit later though. Right now we just want to focus on growing. Yep, that's a leopard shark right there. Stay away from that big guy no matter how big you are, he will chomp you up. Look, the lionfish almost went into that guy's mouth. Nope, one did go into his mouth. Nice. Alright, I cleared the stage of the losing the life so I get a starfish bonus. If you're lucky enough, you can actually get a good combo going up there while eating these. 
but the mermaid often takes too long to show up to actually get that time six. I'm lucky I got it the first time. Fun fact, when inflated, a puffer fish's stomach increases to nearly 100 times its original volume. Most of those facts are true, they really have shown their work. Yes, this is actually another way they can get a frenzy boost going. If you see a bubble with the letters FF, you will instantly get add times one to the multiplier. No matter what. Okay. Yeah, see, there's that bubble. Luckily, the combo actually does stay active for a little while to give you a chance to actually get it going. We don't have any abilities right now. All we could do is uh, dash. I, th I believe come the second, f the first fish upgrade we get, we'll have the ability to do a vacuum technique that allows you to suck in smaller fish. Super Ooh, a starfish bubble, nice. Alright, uh, I should mention, yes, every growth in size acts as a checkpoint. If you get eaten and you already grew once or twice before, the bar will go back to uh, where the size growth started. Mega frenzy. Yeah, see, I was got eaten by that lionfish. Mega frenzy. Like I said, the fact that the screen scrolls in all directions alone makes this game a lot harder than the first. Like, this is the first world and I almost got eaten by that lionfish back there. Luckily I did not. Right, I cleared the stage without dying again. See if I can actually. If the game would be so Super kind. Frenzy. There we go. And when you reach a certain score, you'll get an extra life. That's the fun fact of the day. Humphead rats use their teeth to crush shells and dead coral, dead coral rubble in order to find food. I was about to say bubble. I believe it's pronounced rats. I'm not a marine biologist, so I don't know much. Yes, bonus stages are back as well. There's no uh, special bonus music for some reason, unlike the first Feedy Frenzy. It's just the uh, normal music. Those clocks actually add 3 seconds to the time. What we want to do is add, uh, add eat 100, 100 of these fish. I don't know what they are exactly. Of course, this is great if you want to get a combo going. Maybe you can get an extra life or two for these bonus stages, I don't know. Look at all these fish. You do not have to clear the bonus stages in order to progress. You can fail them and you'll still move on. Thankfully you won't lose a life. I mean it is a bonus stage. Although there are games where you can lose a life in bonus stages, it's uh, kind of cruel to see that happen. Right? Plus three seconds? Actually I'm almost done, wow. Mega I have five more to go. Mega frenzy. Let me see, where's that last guy? There you are, coming to my mouth. Alright. An uninvited guest. These humphead rats don't usually venture in this close to the coast. This friendly little shoal is getting a bit crowded. Yes, now we have the chance to earn extra lives from those extra life bubbles. Ah, good old palette swap used by NES games back in the day. Those lionfish are purple now when they were green before. So those blue and green fish, those are the humphead wrasse. Is it wrasse or rasse? I don't know. It might be wrasse. Okay, there's a one-up. If you're lucky enough, you can make up a life that you lost. Although, don't count on finding those one-up bubbles too often. They're one of the most powerful power-ups in the game. Another good power we will be coming for quite some time is a shield. But the shield works a little bit differently in this game than the first Feeding Frenzy. Hey, it went up, nice. Though, so, you'll see what the shield does when we actually come across it, but trust me, it's a lot better in this game than it is in the first. Alright. I should mention that I'm recording my commentary separately this time around. For my first few Let's Plays, I recorded my commentary with the Elgato software, but now. I ended up finding audio recording software called WavePad. It's by the same company that makes VideoPad, the video editor that I currently use for YouTube videos. There's a lot of fun effects that I can play around with in WavePad, and I can even uh, edit a specific part of my commentary, like say if I want a robotic effect, 
Maybe someday I'll let's play a game like that. As they age, some yellow boxfish develop a protruding hump over their upper lip. Ugh, that doesn't sound promising. Alright, so now we're moving on to... Treasure. These clams... They'll occasionally open up. And if they do, yes, you can find items or a pearl. Be warned, however, that those clams, yep, in this game, they'll actually shake when they're about to close. In the first Fitty Frenzy, there was no indication when they were about to close. But these pearls can actually help you grow a little bit quicker. They can also open up black pearls, which will cause you to grow a lot quicker. Keep my eye out for those pearls, though. Yes, that black pearl. See how much that bar went up? I already grew one size, and it went halfway, halfway across as well. So I want to watch out for those hump head rats, though. In fact, yes. Look at that. Boom. Stage done. Stage done already. Let's go ahead and claim our prize. Huh. I said that line a lot in Earthbound. Alright. What's the fun fact of the day? Leopard sharks are not a danger to humans. There is only a single report of a leopard shark incident in the international shark attack file and no bite was involved. Pretty sure that fact is a bit different nowadays. Jump for joy, bonus stage. So, this stage introduces a new mechanic to Feedy Frenzy 2. We're gonna drop out from the air and we're able to jump out of the water. When you jump out of the water, you have a chance of catching some bugs and maybe a couple of other goodies as well. But you can also, if you tap the button repeatedly, you can try to do a flip. I believe it gets you bonus points. Ooh. Oh yeah, but if you're not careful, you'll just belly flop and you'll be stunned for a little while. There is an achievement where you do, I believe it's a quadruple flip and succeed. I actually did manage to get that achievement. It took me a few tries, but I pulled it off. Not that I'm an achievement hunter by any means, it was just something that I wanted to do. Let's see if I can get you the last guy. Yes. Alright. Alright, last stage of, uh... Actually, I forgot his name. Crap. <laughs> Showdown in the Shallows. Why is everyone so grumpy? Huh. If you ever forget which fish you can eat, check what's up on the menu top of the screen. Any fish that's done up in the menu is safe to eat. You see your largest prey in the yummy bubble. Yes. So the RB, right bumper... Okay, that's what yummy bubble means. I saw that in the controls menu, but I didn't understand what that meant. Apparently that's what they mean by yummy bubble. Eating frenzy. It shows you uh, who you can eat. You see, things are already getting a bit more dangerous. Double frenzy. Of course, you can eat bugs as well. We are able to jump out of the water. Feedy frenzy. Ooh, one up. Nice. Super frenzy. I think the bugs count towards... No, I don't think they do. I think they're just for points. Mega no, I think they're just for points. Yeah, see, things are already getting a lot more difficult. Mega it's the last level of the first world, but... Like I said, things are getting rough. Okay, at least they'll be able to eat the lionfish. Ooh. Um... Are you serious? In the middle of a recording? Uh... I don't need online play, so I guess I will, uh... Skip it for right now. Wow, I did not see that coming. I don't think I'm going to cut that out, though. I mean, like I said, this game does not need online play, and I'm not going for any achievements this run. Oh, no, those bugs actually do count towards the growth meter, but it's actually pretty small. Okay, for a second there, I thought the game was crashing, but no. It was just update time, apparent. update time apparently. Okay, if we could eat the humphead wrasse. But we still cannot eat the leopard shark. Alright. Oh, yep, I went right into his mouth. So every time you die, you'll spawn back in the middle. You'll gain brief invincibility. Luckily, it's pretty easy to grow back right now. I mean, the strategy that I usually use for this game. Oh. Um, I'll go over that later. Hold on. What's that thing? That thing looks ominous, doesn't it? 
Hmm. Got to find out what that is next next time, huh? Because that's the end of War One. The leopard shark found along the western coast of North America is often confused with the zebra shark that lives in the waters of Australia and Southeast Asia. Both sharks are commonly referred to as leopard sharks. Interesting. So, the first stage of World 2 introduces us to a fish upgrade. The Layla, the resident queen triggerfish, who we're going to be playing as next time, alright? So next time we feed a frenzy 2, we're going to move on and see what we can do about this mysterious, uh, whatever that thing was. See you then.